Welcome, and the name is an Asus ROG Phone 5, and today I'll show you how to record screen on this device. So to get started, let's pull down our notification panel, expand it, and look for the screen recorder toggle, which for me is right over here. Once you find it, all you need to do is either tap on it to start recording or hold it to go into the settings. Now I do recommend you to uh, start off by going into the settings uh, when you're doing this for the first time and change a couple of them uh, to suit your preferences. So number one, we have the resolution. Uh, this, if you want to have the best quality, go for the 1080p. Anything below will just stop dropping in quality. 720 could still work, but it's gonna take less space, um, which is a benefit, but it's gonna look also worse. So keep that in mind. Then I have the quality right here. Um, we apparently are set to medium, so I'll probably set that to high just so it looks better. I believe this, it probably includes bitrate, uh, which means uh, that medium or high difference will not be visible on the still photos. Uh, so as an example, if I'm recording as something like this right now where you can see settings, it wouldn't be really visible, uh, even like on low, it might not be. But the moment I start like scrolling up and down, you will see this kind of, uh, when I move it, it will, everything will look blurry and kind of degraded in quality for a couple or a second or so till it catches the quality. Uh, it, it looks a little bit wonky and uh, it's not necessarily anything uh, that adds to your the quality. So I would suggest you to go with the high option. Now next thing we have is a frame rate and that is a surprise here. Uh, we apparently can record at 120 frames. Now um, if you're planning to record something for YouTube or stuff like that, uh, 60 will be uh, really good for this. You could drop it to 30 to save on space if you want to, uh, but 30 looks... Uh, uh, <clears throat> For games, it's not cinematic experience as everybody would make you believe. Uh, so for gameplay, go with 60 at least. Uh, for anything uh, kind of like related to something like I'm showing you right now, guides or showing some kind of application, how it functions, yeah, you can go with 30. Uh, and if you want to have just the most buttery smooth experience, you can go for 120, but I believe YouTube doesn't support it. So if you're planning to upload it somewhere like that, uh, just keep that in mind that uh, YouTube will automatically downscale it to 60 frames instead of 120. Now I'm gonna go with the 120 just for the kicks. And then we also have the option to select where we can um, save the recording. Now there is only internal storage, I believe there is no uh, space for SD card, so I'm not sure why it's just that even here. Maybe the uh, better versions of this device do have storage expansion, but this one does not. Then we have orientation, uh, keep it on auto, the best option. It's just when you hold the phone in landscape mode, it's gonna be in landscape, and when you flip it to portrait, it's gonna record in portrait. Then we have record audio. Uh, so here we have microphone, internal audio, or none. Unfortunately, we don't have both if you wanted to record that. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh, some devices allow you to do that, some don't. I'm not really sure why. So choose whichever audio you want to record. Uh, then we have countdown before starting to record. Um, I'll set it to zero. Um, what else we have? Uh, show touches. So once you start recording, whatever you will touch, it will show this grayish dot. And now for the normal uh, infor informational videos like this one, uh, show touches is a good thing. For gameplays, not so much. So I'm just gonna turn it off. Then black overlay notifications. So if you don't want any notifications showing up on your recording, uh, while you record, they will be blocked from popping up. Uh, stop recording for incoming calls. Uh, probably a good option. So when someone calls you, it will automatically pause the video. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all the settings right here that we have. So we can close this now uh, once you have gone through all of them. And all you need to do now is simply tap on the recording. Now, when you're doing this for the first time, it will want access to your screen, uh, to audio, and to um, media just so it has place to save and as you can see it automatically starts recording so whatever i'll do right now will be recorded uh, and well in this case in the battery 120 frames smoothness which is a fairly nice thing and once you're done i can simply tap on the stop and this will stop it now once you actually have finished recording you can find that recording in your photo gallery so let's just open up photos 
disregard this. Don't back up, there we go. Let's go to the library where you will find screen recording folder. And once you tap on it, there should be our recording. Okay, and it's already playing as you can see. And this is probably the best re screen recording I have ever seen at this moment. Primarily because of that 120 hertz uh, frames uh, recording. So yeah, this looks really good. But anyway, that is how you would record your screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.